Congratulations to Whitehorse Science teacher Paul McCarl and his winning team of students who were finalists in the Spirit of Innovation contest with their Native Sun solar-powered fry bread cooker. Native Sun team member Celeste Lansing will introduce herself in Navajo and explain the winning Fresnel Land solar cooker design. Three other students will introduce themselves in Navajo and discuss the other solar cookers made by Mr. McCarl's science class. Um, hi, I'm Celeste Lansing. Um, this is our Native Sun Solar Fiber Cooker. So we want to um, learn more about um, solar energy and see if we can actually cook fry bread with the sun, because you never see, because you hardly see solar ovens cooking, like frying stuff. And usually they just use a crock pot. We entered the Spirit of Innovation Awards, and there's four categories, and there's seven teams that did it for renewable energy. And we basically went down to down by San Diego and we competed against different teams about different solar projects. And this was ours. And we were the only one that had a working prototype, other ones are ideas, but it's pretty cool. Um, how this works is this is a stable and this is a Fresnel lens. What this does is it captures all the sunlight into one focal area. Right? You can see it's a little line. And it comes down from the bottom and it heats up and it heats up pretty fast. And then you get this. Yes. Hi, my name is Jenny Spencer and um, I'm a student here at Whitehorse. And here is a cook it and basically what it does is it angles here and when the sun hits the foil it, ca it reflects all the heat into the center and what the, the bag does it, it traps the heat and the sun energy which which is making the cookies cook. It's made out of cardboard and um, aluminum foil. And we got this design off of the internet and we just basically cut it out and put it together. The cook it folds into a small square. Thousands are used in Darfur refugee camps. What foods can you make with a cook it? Uh, cookies, biscuits, anything basically you could bake. Hello, I'm Skylar and this is my solar oven. I'm warming up some soup. All the sun goes into the panel to reflect into the baking chamber. And as you know, the bottle is black, so it can trap the heat. Yeah, it's a good house can change this. Yeah, but on this land, it would change this thing. Classy, that's a shade of my best. The sun is reflecting off the panels, which is made out of aluminum foil. But it goes down all the way to the center. We're cooking soup because it's really sunny out and it's really hot. Whitehorse High School is located on the Navajo Reservation in Montezuma Creek, Utah. It serves 323 Native American students from grades 7 to 12. Great job, Whitehorse, and congratulations to Mr. McCarl for being such an inspiration to his students.